All right, well, first thing you'd want to do, obviously, is select a video you'd like to download. And I've already picked one out. This one's nice and short. The quality's eh, pretty <laughs> We just need a fast video to download pretty quickly and convert pretty quickly. Well, you select a URL right here and just copy that and then go to one of these websites. My favorite is called YouTube X and it's very fast and a very good website. So you paste it right here and then you pick go. Alright, and then there's your video and you right click and select save target as. And I'll bring up the little download screen and you make sure it's on all files. I never understood this but you still have to do it. You type dot flv and then you pick save I like to save on desktop because I'm just weird like that because it's very fast and besides once you get these videos on your iPod I don't think you want to sit here and watch them on your computer so that's just me but you can do whatever you like save them wherever you like <coughs> and a lot of people say doing this takes away from the quality of the video but that's not true at all if it's good quality on YouTube it's gonna be good quality on your iPod as simple as that and the audio is always really really good on your iPod so that's another good thing all right <coughs> once the video is downloaded you go to your desktop or wherever you saved it you can see it here and it's definitely not a video file right now but we're about to change that all right, go select the program I had you download earlier, and it will bring up this, and you just pick, well, I pick play file, just, <laughs> just to make sure it's working fine. And you pick this right here, and select your file, you'll see it right there on the desktop, and this is where you name your file, what it will be when it's on your iPod, I'll just name it test. Alright, once there you pick convert file to and you go through here and you look for oh there it is MP ah MP4 MPEG4 audio and video right there. You pick that and then click convert. And it'll take a few seconds to convert it. But and Alright, there it is. It's ready to be put in into iTunes and into your iPod. So there you go. And an another cool thing about this is this doesn't only work with flash files, it works with absolutely all kinds of files. Like you were saying last night, how you had some files that only play in Windows Media Player that you'd like to put on your iPod. By all means you can put that in here and then convert it to an MP4, like we did that earlier one, and then there you go, it's ready to be put on your iPod. Well, it's still kind of early. I know it's only about 9.30, but that's early enough for me, so I think I'm going to go be lazy. <laughs> Talk to you later, Amy. Bye.